Hello again, a new day, a new project, and uh, what I'm trying to do is to have some real life tests about uh, this mini oscilloscope. And first of all, let me have some measurements inside my trusty Grundig radio. You know, this radio was all around the world with me. I've been up to Greenland in between Eskimos and this radio was served so nice shortwave it's amazing and it's such a small pack for a, a lot of goodies let me have back the batteries yeah it's working let's put it on fm and you can see over here we have a small crystal let's see what's the frequency of the crystal okay when you measure a crystal or a crystal oscillator in fact a quartz oscillator the probe should be always on uh, 10x because if it's 1x the one mega impedance of the probe it's uh, too low and it will block the oscillator so we have the ground over there let's see we have this connection here do you see we already have a signal and there we are so we should be on 10x over here ac and look there 75.9 kilohertz and beautiful wave this is such a beautiful wave perfect sinus so the maximum it's five microseconds here and voltage it's like 500 millivolts 200 that's the maximum 200 millivolts but look there beautiful wave nice this is done back in cage yes so like i said it's a grundig eb 300 pa with short waves and uh, it have a dx and local reception and it's great for a shortwave radio you just push your frequency over here let's say 3 megahertz and so on okay so this is nice so we had a really beautiful 76 kilohertz signal over there and over here I know that I have an 8 megahertz crystal behind this. I have to give something to do, so that's why I'm gonna just use a random uh, frequency over here. Doesn't really matter because we don't care about this signal. I will work on the display, I will get loose the display. Don't worry, nothing happens. Okay, so here we have the processor. Let me have a ground somewhere. I think this is, that should be ground. Oh, I have here. Perfect, and now let me check the pins. Do we got something? Oh yes, look there. What is this? We have a, let's put it on auto. And there we are, eight megahertz. Pretty steady. That's the maximum of the amplitude. So let's say, it's just a little bit of dancing, but it's pretty readable. 8 megahertz anything else 8 here too nothing nothing let's see over here somewhere oh yes of course we have 1 kilohertz the square wave we've been uh, choosed before nice I have to put the this playback and I don't have a switch so I have to short the battery there we go now I can put the 
It's working? Yes, it is. <laughs> and by the way, you see I did a little trick over here. I had two lithium polymer cells from a ruined laptop battery. So uh, this should be around 7 volts or something. Let me see. 8.2 volts. That's perfect. So I just put this, double tape it and I don't care about batteries anymore. It's running like this for more than three months already. So I know that will be recharged in the next two years or something. Okay, so we're done with that. Let me see what we got here. If you remember my project about a FM transmitter and um, in-ear monitoring, let's see if we can measure anything interesting over here. Maybe the output frequency or something that should go up to 108 megahertz. Okay, there we go. And we have a power supply, which doesn't work because of the connector. But I have my batteries here. The rest of the ruined laptop battery just got together and have this 12 volts battery for all around useful things so now this one it's transmitting it's sending 108 megahertz okay let's see can we can we measure anything around here we have a crystal okay let's see what's happening with that crystal like i said before the probe should be on 10x 10 times if it's lower then it's just blocking the oscillation the impedance is too low oh yes look there we have a let me see 11 oh 12 megahertz nice and steady 12 megahertz do we have an antenna is there an antenna here or something on the board looking like an antenna we got something here what is that searching 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 nothing not so much that's the line in maybe over here okay ground well, I think I can use the minus over here like a ground connection. Nothing. Oh, look there. That should be some uh, commands or logic signals on the board. It's saying CMD command. And here we have a clock. Yeah. And look there. Yeah, 475 kilohertz clock. And here it's saying battery or something. Oh yeah, okay. There is an infrared receiver over here because this transmitter, it have also a remote control. Anything here? Nothing, okay. Let's check the display. 81.3 hertz. multiplexing something same same well I can say that it's getting pretty hard okay let's check this that's the USB stick in it's reading uh, audio from USB nothing okay so I don't know how but I can't get any more than this 12 megahertz over here and look if we push the probe on 1x the oscillation is gone because the probe impedance it's too low okay back to 10 and the oscillator is back 12 megahertz nice so these are real time real field measurements okay let me try this one it should be a, a, a crystal oscillator something because it's a clock and a, and a thermometer 32 megahertz oh no 32 kilohertz sorry 
32 kilohertz, that's a really nice wave. Perfect sinus. We can make it bigger. It's on already on 200 millivolts. Yeah, nice, it's working. Okay guys, thank you for now. That was well, just uh, a little test, you know, for field application, I may call it. Thank you for now. See you soon with some other projects. Bye bye.